Welcome to The Trend. I'm Rebecca Granite. You may recognize her as the star trainer from The Biggest Loser, but we at The Trend are the biggest winners today because Jen Wiederstrom is here to talk about her new book out today called Diet Right for Your Personality Type. Jen, I am so excited to talk to you about this <laughs> book. We are ready, girl. <laughs> Literally, you're ready. Right before the camera starts, she goes, I have 15 minutes with you alone. Yes. I was like, ah, do I need <laughs> like, some help in here? This is a literal personal training like <laughs> course we have going on here yeah. for all of us. How do you feel? This is a milestone goal. How do you feel reaching this goal today? This is a big deal. It's, it's bananas. Yeah. Uh, you know, in the words of Gwen Stefani. Listen, it, it is... What's cool is that it's a culmination of a decade of me working with people in the health and fitness field, right? And I think that um, to have the opportunity to kind of extend my message and just get in the living rooms of people, even outside of Loser, you know, this is a really great w way for me to do it and with all my Gen Juju. Yeah, with your Gen Juju. Yeah. For those who don't know, can you explain what that is? Yeah, just, just, you know, it's like my Juju. It's all the little coaching. It's all the things, you know, Biggest Loser, we film for hours and hours and hours, and there's even more time that's not even filmed, but you get 42 minutes of actual filmed airtime per episode, right? Mm -hmm. This is all the hours that you see on the cutting room floor. It's in that book. It's all the time and a little bit of a coaching and specifically customized to each person uh, that I've inserted. I actually have little sections called Gen Juju as well, so you'll see them. <sighs> This book is packed with such fun gems. I, what people, I think, need to know about this book is that it's all about the individual, right? right? It's all about your personality type that one, you say, one diet plan does not fit all. Well, yeah, don't, I mean, isn't that reality? One size does not fit all. We've yeah. proven that over and over again. And what I, when I start to see, too, is look at all the information out there, all of the, you, you know, um, the science, the, the inf just information, as I said, and yet we're still fat. Why is no one taking the information in and doing it? Why is it at week five for New Year's resolutions and like every year, everyone's starting to fall off the wagon again? Mm -hmm. And what I see are people saying, oh, if I could just be more organized, if I could just be more like my friend, if I could just get up early like you do, if I could just pack my lunch like my, my sister does. Every excuse. It's like, stop. Well, but they're looking outside themselves for the answer when I know it's within them. You have to look at the individual. You have to. Why are their diet books being programmed without the reader in mind? Yeah. You cannot program something without the person. And so what I've done is I've identified these five core personality types to which I program specific nutritional programming to not just support those behavior defaults, but to help you understand them, to elevate the awareness around, oh, well, that is a trigger for me, or what motivates me to keep going so you, you don't hit week five of New Year's resolutions and quit and instead can keep going because you actually picked a plan that suits you. So I'm yelling at you. Everett, I'm so passionate. No, this is great. Look at you're so excited. It's a big deal. I'm so excited for you. So for everyone, yeah. there are five basic personality types in yep. this book. You will find yourself somewhere in this book. And I'm trying to figure out what mine is. Okay. I've been trying to figure it out. So the five types are the organized doer. Yep. The swinger. Yep. The rebel. Great. The never ever. Yep. And the everyday hero. You got right? it. That's the big five. Yeah, big five. Okay. So how would I figure out, if I was a representative of someone getting this book, how would I figure out okay. who I am? So when you get the book, there, is, there isn't a personality assessment that I've put together in there. And um, through that, behavior choices, the way you feel about different certain scenarios, you're going to come out with your dominant personality. Now, some people, based on the point spectrum, might have a recessive personality as well. Okay. So my dominant is everyday hero with a recessive and organized doer. That's my personality ah. spectrum. So I follow the everyday hero plan, although I do, you know, if you're in my position, go and read the organized doer snapshot. I almost kind of I always compare it to horoscope. You know, you, I'm, a, I'm a true Virgo. I'm critical. I'm kind of hard on myself. I'm pretty hardworking, you know, meticulous, all those things. But it doesn't mean I don't have compassion like the Taurus. Mm -hmm. Like, you're going to find that there's qualities you have in, in other personalities. But the core of what motivates you is what we need to figure out for you today. Yes. Okay, so give so, me a few. How okay. do we figure this out? So, okay, Bex, here we go. <laughs> are, you, are you someone that you like, um, uh, uh, you know, organization, if I gave you a list of things, would you like, yes, I love that, I'm going to follow it, mm -hmm. I'm going to check off my mm -hmm. list? Yes. Is that really you? <laughs> yes. Oh, no way. Okay, okay. Do you feel like you're pretty hard on yourself? Oh, yeah. I'm do my worst feel, critic. Do you feel like you have a hard time, even if you do well, that you kind of discredit it? You're like, oh, I did run that mile, but I kind of walked at one point, so it's not that good. Like, do you take oh, away yeah. from your success? Overcompensate. Do you find yourself kind of burning out on diet plans? Often, yes. 
often, yeah. Ooh, I, I mean, do you know what's you funny, can? What's funny <laughs> is I was thinking, okay, I'm gonna ask a few core questions, but uh, you're an organized doer. Oh, for sure. You just hit it on the head. Because organized doers, doers, they love, they want, they, when you work out, is it, you know, the same time, you know, three times mm -hmm. a week? Do you like, you like finding an instructor that's like the person you want to work with or the program you want to stick with and you do it? Mm -hmm. I mean, that's where you're going to thrive. But a lot of times you guys hit walls because you're not celebrating success. You're not giving you a chance to say, hey, you know, Rebecca, I hit that benchmark and that is good and it, it, to keep the, to keep you fired up to go forward. Yeah. Okay. And you also have diet like not diet but meal plans so here. because you're an organized doer there's a whole meal plan it's a four-week program for you because you thrive in organization and routine that's exactly what I give you okay. you are going to be given a, a full day for uh, a full I should say a full composite of which each day is going to look like because for you uh, it's just you're like like, yeah. Yes. I I like, it's like, it's yeah. very fun for me. Right. You're going to have your meal days. You're going to have your grocery list. You're going to know exactly what's going on. Um, and then with that, I do provide some coaching around your movement. I want you to, um, a lot of people will kind of fall off the gym or don't, are consistent because like, for instance, a swinger, they get bored pretty quickly. If I were to give them the same workout three days a week, they would stop doing it after probably halfway ah. through the first week. Whereas you as an organized doer, you actually might thrive. You want the routine. You're like, okay, I know where I have to be on each day. I need this workout to be at the same time. I'm going to pack my bag. I'll have my hair dryer in there. Did I bring the right mascara? Yep. <laughs> right? You're going to have everything set up because that's what's going to keep you on track. So this is essentially like you being a personal trainer for everyone out there who gets this book. 100%, because you know what, here's the, here's the promise, and here's what's going on. I'm sick of seeing books out there that don't include the reader. I'm, I'm sick of people working so hard physically and emotionally and mentally to lose the weight and then not being able to keep it off. Mm. This book finally allows you to do that, to lose the weight and to keep it off for good. That is the whole point, because the one thing that's not going to change, you, you, the essence of who you are, you're always going to be Rebecca. I'm always going to be this way. Mm -hmm. So instead of trying to fit you into a program, I'm going to allow the program to fit you. And it is for me. That's why I said there's that Jen Juzer. There's a lot of coaching. There's a lot of me in there. There's, there's information, no matter what your personality type, that, what, what, that you're going to need to know and that's going to keep you sustaining and going and doing really well. And speaking of you. Yeah. So we do a lot oh, of, God. you do a lot of focusing on other people's success. Oh, yeah. Hence the everyday hero. Right. Yep. And so... I want to talk about you for a second. What makes you you? Okay. There, when you speak, a lot of us, we just like, you just take it in. You're so just inherently motivational. And so, what, I want to know when the first time you realized you could affect people and be motivational. Who did you impact the mm. first time that you said, this is. This I is know it. the moment. Okay, it's actually really funny because I always, as, as an athlete growing up, I always looked at movement. Um, I, I worked out to perform well. Mm -hmm. Sports, right? <clears throat> work hard, throw far, work on my gymnastics routine, get a higher score. It was no, it never correlated with health or feeling good or, or empowerment. It and uh, it was result, exactly. Mm -hmm. And so I remember I was doing group classes in LA and um, there's this gym, I didn't have very much money. So what was great is I wanted to work there because then they let you take any class you wanted for free. I was like, score. Oh, that's awesome. And so yeah. I was working out and there's this boxing class, which I still take it. I love them. Sue and Roger Marshall are still like two of my favorite people on the planet. And they're teaching me boxing. And I saw this woman in class that was kind of struggling to get combinations. You could tell she was just really hot on herself. Ironically, an organized doer. She's in my book. Melanie is her name. And really? Melanie was, and I just kind of pulled her aside. I'm like, yo, you're so cool. Let me, um, and I just kind of showed her her footwork, and I was like, you're really good, you got it, you got it, okay, okay. And I remember after class, she goes, I want you to train me. And I was, I was like, oh, I'm not a trainer. I'm just, no, 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 no. I teach group classes. I'm not training. It's, you know, I'll, no. She goes, no, 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 I want you to train me. And I, and she was the first one that really stepped out and said, I, because, you know, she. You can help you me. Can, yeah, she saw something in me. Yeah. And I didn't realize it at first. And after a little, like a month went by, and I go, why? Why did you ask me to train you? Because, like, again, I wasn't even doing private clients, and this is like, my, my first year in L.A. She said, you were nice to me, and you made uh, me feel like I could do it. And I was like, I did all that? I was, <laughs> I was you know, sweating and worried about my ponytail and trying to keep my gloves on, and I didn't realize that I had the ability to make such an impact, and so quickly and so small, and without even knowing it. Yeah. Imagine when I started to apply all the 
all of that to more people in different ways and it just started to kind of strike me and so step by step rep by rep client by client i started to discover this ability i had to just really kind of connect with people and who they really are right mm -hmm. and let them be their greatest asset in their life you know it's not about them changing or manipulating or becoming something else it's saying turn to who you are and lean into that because that's good stuff you are also training in the age of social media mm -hmm. and selfies yeah <laughs> which has revolutionized i'm sure the the workout world right how how has that affected you as a trainer? How, how, what do you see changing or? Well, I see opportunity. I mean, listen, there are so many, you know, you call them Insta-famous, whatever you want. Mm -hmm. There are people out there that care enough to post, to program workouts, to, to post pictures as aspirational things. The more the merrier. I love that we're out there helping each other. If there's a girl that posts a picture that inspires one person or a guy that posts a transformation of weight loss to muscle gain or... This is great. That's what we're here. I'm not, in the, I'm not interested in trying to compete or out, out, out like how many likes I have the, from your picture or, or get more followers and say somebody else. We're all here contributing to a wonderful cause. Mm -hmm. And that's because we want to take care of each other. So I actually love it. And the platforms and social media have given me a chance to, um, to do, I mean, I just did like a 12-day holiday hustle. Oh, that's cute. Uh, right. I, yeah. I, I, mean, I let everybody, I'm like, pick the name, let's do it. I mean, I, in my work, I call them Gen Bod workouts. Mm -hmm. But... Let's do it. Let's go through workouts and the changes I saw on people in just 12 days. And I wouldn't know, have been able to do that without the social you revolution. You see the changes you, so much Not only can easily. I put the information out, but I get immediate gratification on, on the return of this is the 12 days and this is what we did and this is the difference. Wow. And not only that, because they were willing to share, look what they showed what is possible. They, and now the people kind of, it's, it's like a fever. You, know, you, you, or you catch it. You're like, ooh. That, that. Now I can do it. It's, it's it catches totally. on. Totally. Absolutely. Absolutely. So it's, it's support for each other. Absolutely. So it's a good thing. It's community. Community is everything. I'm going to test you. Oh, God. Okay. <laughs> All right. Is there <laughs> real wine in here? Coming. I might need some wine. <laughs> the, we always say that if it goes poorly, then we do say it's real wine. <laughs> I mean, this is, this is pretty, this is so your personality. Yeah, right. Isn't it? You I, think you're, I think you're a dominant organized doer, but I think you're a recessive s swinger for sure. Really? Yeah. Why do you say that? I can just, you just you your vibe. It? Yeah, okay. yeah. Right. We'll see. When you take the extra assessment, you're going to have to let I'm me gonna know. I'm going to let you know. I'll, I'll message you about it. Mm. Uh, this is the 10 for 10 challenge. Okay. 10 questions, 10 seconds to answer each. We're going to be as close as we can, but... Okay, we'll no, I'm not going to let you down. I'm All not right. going to let you down. I know you won't. I know you won't. Um, your first one is your guilty pleasure food. Oh, cheese and crackers. Awesome. Like good cheese. By the way, what kind of cheese? Like brie and like brie. melted mm. Munster and you know the creamy good stuff. Least favorite body part to work out. Least favorite body? My lungs. I hate cardio. You hate cardio? Yeah. <laughs> really? So you like lifting? Yeah. Oh, give me a barbell. You don't like looking at your lungs? That's a great answer. <laughs> what or who motivates you to work out and get into such phenomenal shape? Uh, you know, it's The Rock. Uh, Dwayne is someone that. He finds a way, no matter how busy the day, to, to get up and move his body. And you can tell that's his therapy. And I've kind of, I start to look at the barbell as my therapist most days too now. Because even on the way here, I thought, oh, i got to get a work on today. And I don't want to do it. And I think of all the excuses why. And I think, Dwayne would go. Did you get one in today? I'm going right after I oh, see you. Oh, you are? Yeah. And you don't even live here, so no. you're going to find a way to do it. Yeah, I've got, I've got a gym. I've already set it up. My buddy's got me set up, and I'm going. Oh, that's What's yeah. on the you know what's on the workout agenda for you? Oh, I'm gonna lift. I'm gonna start with lifting something, and that'll help me, talk me into working my lungs. Perfect. <laughs> All right, Valentine's Day is coming up. I know I'm gonna break I my know. diet. I'm gonna be tempted by chocolate. Okay. Many of us are. What? Give us some advice. Something that I can well, do. Well, just have a plan. If you know it's gonna happen, then don't make it a cheat meal. Make it a joy meal. Say, I'm actively choosing this. I'm not like, oops, it happened to me. Mm -hmm. Oops, I fell and this cupcake fell into my mouth. <laughs> right? Somebody make a choice. Do that, don't make, we? But just be, be aware. Make a choice. Say, okay, I'm gonna have a cupcake or a chocolate. Then I said a chocolate or so whatever that becomes. Mm -hmm. I don't know. And then say, okay, that day I'm gonna eat perfect leading up to it, and then the next day I'll be perfect after. Perfect. That's it. It's okay. Do it. Yeah. Because I tell you what, you're not going to last if you don't give yourself the joy. No way. Okay, so we can cheat every once in a while as long as it's intentional. Intentional yes? cheating. See, I'm a good listener. I'm trying to learn I here. like this. This is good for you. <laughs> all right, another piece of advice for everyone. If we, we all get busy lives, you obviously so much so. Oh, yes. Uh, oh, busy. Yeah, you're so busy. Well, you're on a plane. You're I, jet I have setting. A book. You have a no. book coming out. Yeah. 
You're okay. so cool. <laughs> <laughs> no, you really are. This is, this is an awesome book. Um, what can we do? What is a quick move that we can do that'll just get us feeling really good, but we don't have to hit the gym or like spend an hour? Okay, honestly, um, I'm scared for this. Okay, there, there, now I actually I thought of two. Okay, I, I'm changing the one I'm going to tell you. Okay, go for it. Literally walking lunges. Walking lunges. Walking lunges. Okay. If I'm in a hotel, I'll literally go out my door, the hotel room, and I take 50 walking lunges out and, and then, then, then walk back. Like 50 okay. walking lunges are going out and 50 coming back. That's 100. Stop as many times as you need to. I don't really give a sh. Okay. Oh, take 50 steps. <laughs> That's okay. Go ahead. Like you, you swear. Maybe not on the show, well, but she's swear. Yeah, oh my God, please. <laughs> um, so uh, a walking lunge, for sure. That because it's 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 even though it's lower body, full body goes. It gives you the booty lift because listen, you can't ignore that, especially you ladies. Uh, actually, men too. I don't know why I put that on the girls. Boys and girls, keep the booties tight because if you don't squeeze them now, no one's gonna want to squeeze them later. <laughs> I love her. This is awesome. This is true. <laughs> I want us to demonstrate that, but let's finish. Oh, these should and I we'll demonstrate? Do it at the end. Yeah. Do you want to do it now? We'll do oh it now. Oh my God. Do I have? I'm gonna do it. And I'm a little tethered. We're being here. So walking lunges is literally okay. you walk and you lunge. Okay, as you go. So it's like that. If you don't have a lot of space, like because we're a little bit tethered, you yeah. can do a reverse lunge. Okay? okay. Which is basically standing and taking a reverse step and standing up. Oh my God. Look at you Did in the heels, it? girl. Beautiful. Yes. This is One big tip. Workout. One big tip. See the still. So, but she's doing this way. If you have your chest really vertical like this, you're actually dumping into your back and more of your quad. If you just okay. pitch your body forward slightly, so you're gonna feel way oh, more yeah. tush. It's it's like a little. Everyone's like, get tall, get tall. I'm like, no, no, no. On the lunges. So whether you're leaning back or whether you're stepping back or walking forward, give yourself that little bit of lean without hitting your head on a table because that would be bad. Um, but that's that's the number one. That okay. Yeah. You're All right, there's your tip, everyone. That's okay for you, right? No, that was awesome. That was. I really almost good. made her do a burpee, and she yeah, was having no, a little bit little... of a, a moment. I hate burpees. All right, right. <laughs> well, then we started to fight, and then she kicked me in the shin, and then <laughs> I mean, you, I, I, we were pulling hair, and it was it was wild. It was terrible. We, we should have had it on all camera. the good stuff off camera. It was right before we went live. You guys, should, it was bananas. <laughs> Okay. All right, here's your last few. We broke the 10-second rule on that one, but... Well, you did, not me. I did. No, I did. 100% me. I take it on myself. Uh, your hobby beyond working out that you do? Um, I love movies. I do love movies. Um, old, like I just watched Victor Victoria the other day, which, I mean, this is like Julia Andrews probably, I don't know how many years ago, and it's a musical yeah. from decades ago to... Uh, you know, watching Moonlight, you know, I love seeing what's up. I think it's a great way to tell stories. So I do love movies. movies. What's on your workout playlist? Um, currently, there's mm -hmm. this singer, her name's Mape. I don't know if I'm saying it right, M-A-P-E-I. Mm -hmm. Dude, it, it, the, I, actually, where's my phone? Oh, right. I, I gotta look this up. Can you, now, now you gotta toss it. The, yeah, good, good. Go, oh. <laughs> oh, no. The, I, I actually have, my phone. I have good coordination. But the light got in my eyes, and now I understand why most people struggle, like like in stadiums and drop balls. Yeah. Okay, um, okay. Her name. Oh, oh yeah. It's called Don't Wait, Ma Pei. Don't Wait, Ma Pei. Okay. Yeah. This girl. Hold on, I gotta show you. All right. So if you want to work out like Jen, this is what you gotta listen to. <sighs> Look at this. Oh my God. She's great. Cool. It's it's unreal. I don't know if you can zoom. Yeah. Well, Thanks, yeah. guys. <laughs> She's, I don't even know who she is. Like, she's amazing. Can Just you play? Can it? Oh, yeah. I'll, I'll fast forward a little. Okay. It's like, it's got a bass. It's, I never do music that's too fast, because then I'm like. <laughs> yeah, then I go, yeah. Then I go freak. I freak out. The lungs freak out. That's good. So it's like her. Keep it queued up. We'll, yeah, we'll leave it. Or like um, Eminem. I'll do Eminem sometimes. Yeah. Oh, Eminem is a. Forget it. But it's like, again, it's a slower beat. Music. Yeah, of course. Okay. Okay. Move DJ back. Jen. I'm, I'm going to start a DJ career. I'll be in Vegas by the summer. Uh, I'll come see you. No, that's going to be great. I would love to know what you Me and my one her. fan, Rebecca. Yes. Please see me in Las Vegas. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna we're gonna start small and we're gonna build out. <laughs> you know the place called The Win? I'll be at the bar uh, yep. in the lobby and the, the hotel next to it. Yep, and yeah. I'll be I'll be promoting. It'll be perfect. We're gonna do it together. <laughs> but it, we'll call it Team Jen and Rebe Team Ren. Team, team Ren. <laughs> team Ren. Team Ren. <laughs> okay. Okay. We gotta get right, this done. We gotta do this. Here we go. Uh, how would you suggest celebrating reaching a fitness goal? Oh, honestly, I, I mean, first of all, share it. Talk about it. 
You know, it sounds funny. I know you mean like celebrating, like, what do you do? Yeah. But I want people to, sh like, when you talk about it, share on social media. Thank the people that got you there. Let people know what you have going on. I mean, that, to me, when I tell someone about my book, I mean, and, or, which I know it's not a fitness school, but I, uh, I used to be so afraid of running outside, okay? And I ran my first full, full mile, and I was like, guess what? I did it. I did it. Just the acknowledgement from other people saying, I knew you were working on it. I know that's a big deal to you. That was enough celebration for me. I mean, you know what I mean? I yeah. still, I mean, don't get me wrong, I love tequila, and that was probably part of my celebration. <laughs> Only in Yeho, though. But, but tell people, that's a great way to celebrate. Best, okay, many of us at the office can't do the lunch if we're in the office. When, we're, when we leave, we can. What can we do while we're in the office? To keep active. You know what sounds so funny? Don't ever think it. Get up out of your seat. Go for a walk, especially after you eat, especially that lunchtime meal. Get up, even if you walk 20 minutes, or even less than that, 10 minutes around the office. And if you can, get outside, get some fresh air. I know it's brisk out. What it does for your digestive system, for your brain activity, it, it, there's few things more... Um, helpful, more accessible yeah. and, helpful and helpful than just walking. Yeah. So don't underestimate it. People think they gotta, I gotta do push-ups, I gotta do whatever. <laughs> Listen, if you wanna throw in a set of two minutes of max push-ups and then go walk, here's your trainer, I'm pumped about that. But at least just walk. And your last one real quick, how you will celebrate the release of this fabulous book. You know what? I'm actually going to dinner tonight with my cousin Julie. She was Aww. someone that in the very beginning of writing this helped me dial in a lot of the qualities around it and, uh, and it just happens to be her birthday. So I'm going to go out. Happy birthday, Julie. I'm going to probably cocktail, but uh, I'll skip the bread basket so I can do so. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Hanging Perfect. with family. That's going to be my celebration. Well, Jen, you are just so fantastic. Thank I'm you. so excited that we got this time together and everybody has to go out and get this book. You're going to be on a book tour too, right? So book tour. Can see We're you. at the start of it right now. Now. So I'm, I'm here in New York. I'm actually doing a, a signing in Bookends, uh, Jersey, tomorrow evening. Then I'm going to be at CrossFit Solace here in, uh, off 32nd Street on Thursday evening for Squad Wad. Mm -hmm. And I'm going through Dallas. I'm going through Sacramento. I'm going through Chicago. So everyone can come. Every, yeah, it's going to be a cross. And as, as, as the book does well, we'll add more cities. But ultimately, you can go to any of my social media, at Jen Wiederstrom. Uh, you can Google how to spell my name. Uh, it's, uh, we're, we're, we're putting it up on social everywhere. My website's teamjennifer.com. The tour, the book info, how to get the book, whether it's Barnes & Noble, Amazon, blah, blah, blah. It's all out there. It's all out there. So it's everyone, good. once again, diet right for your personality type. Her personality is written all over this. <laughs> Jen, you're fabulous. Thanks for Thank being you, here. Thank you, dear. Seriously. Cheers. Woo. Cheers.